Arsenal's hopes of securing a top-four Premier League finish this season were dealt a blow as the below-par visitors suffered a 3-0 defeat against rampant Crystal Palace on Monday. Arsenal were put to the sword in the first half by the clinical hosts, with goals from forwards Jean-Philippe Mateta and Jordan Ayew giving Palace a deserved 2-0 interval lead. ESPN Plus Viewers Guide, La Liga, Bundesliga, MLS, FA Cup, more the Londoners improved after the break, with Emile Smith Row A. Their wastefulness proved costly as Wilfred Zaha put the game to bed with a penalty 16 minutes from time. Tottenham Hotspur's 5-0 home victory over Newcastle United on Sunday means they are fourth, ahead of their other North London rivals on goal difference having played a game more. The scoreline at Selhurst Park did not flatter an impressive Palace, who continue to improve under former Arsenal captain Patrick Vieira, with the victory moving them up to ninth. I'm really proud, Vieira told Sky Sports. We defended well and took our chances. We scored in important moments of the game. We needed a big team performance and we did it so we're really pleased. It is a good moment for the club but we know we need to be consistent in our performances and results. Arsenal had them in fine form on the road in the Premier League prior to their trip across London on Monday. Congratulations to Palace for the game they played but we made it impossible for ourselves with the way we competed, Arsenal coach Mikel Arteta told Sky Sports. I apologize to our support. We didn't have the presence today or the composure to dominate the situation so that is what I'm most annoyed with. First of all we need to put our hands up and get the criticism we deserve. Then we accept it, look ourselves in the mirror and look to the next game. This was not good enough. Their 1-0 win at Aston Villa last time out was their fifth away league victory in a row, the first time they had been on such a run since May 2015. But they struggled from the start to find any rhythm, with Palace very much the better side in the opening period. It took the home side 16 minutes to break the deadlock, as Joachim Anderson's head sent a free kick across the box for Mateta to steer in his fourth league goal of the season. Eight minutes later and centre-back Anderson again turned provider, picking out a perfect pass for Ayu, who controlled well before finding the net for the first time since December. Arsenal could not create any openings of note in the first half, with Mateta going close to adding a third for Palace before the interval. Content with a two-goal lead, the hosts sat back and invited pressure after the break. Smithrow should have done better from close range before Odegaard dragged his effort wide, 